Hey there, everybody. This is Magnum Pi. I'm here with Teku Golgoth of Ohilo and Dark Templar, and we are Initiative Zero. We're always so happy that you joined us. This is Rifts, The Face of Evil, our actual play, a tabletop role-playing game at Initiative Zero that, uh, yeah, we're, we're playing through with some obvious modifications <laughs> that have to do with just how people, the choices people make. That's uh, a playthrough of the first adventure published by Palladium Books for Rifts. And uh, that's really how role-playing games are fun, though, is the fact that you're not just playing through the adventure. The adventure is just like a seed. And the decisions and the choices and the way the dice kind of play out, that that changes the course of the game and, and makes the story unique. Personally, I've played this adventure with a huge number of people over the decades now. Um, and every single time it's different. It's not the same adventure that it was the first time. And uh, that's that, that gives it a replayability. The characters are different. And uh, yeah, it's just generally fun. But we'll hop over to Teku Golgi for Hilo DT. How are you guys doing? Good. The Not fact that bad. he said decades, that's kind of nuts, isn't it? 35 years next year, next yeah, summer. Yeah. yeah. 35 years. Damn. And this was my that's first cool. game that I bought, so I had only played about six months, played role playing games about six months prior to buying Rifts in 1990. So as long as Rifts has been out, is basically as long as I've been role playing. So yeah, getting there, getting up there. How about you, Golgi? How long did how long have you been role playing? Apparently, it doesn't even remember. You want to get the abacus? <laughs> you know what? I got an abacus for my birthday once, and I love that thing. It was fantastic. Like the, you know the rainbow one? Did you ever get that rainbow one? Oh yeah, I yeah. Know what you're about. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I yeah. love that one. That was so much fun before. Golgotha, are you able to talk to us? Sorry, I got I got I must have gotten locked yeah, off see for a second. Room. Fine. Okay. I did have a seniors moment. I couldn't hear anything. Jesus. Yeah, okay. that, well, Sorry. that happens Sorry. to seniors, but um, <laughs> wow, wow, it does speak up. But um, when did you start role playing? Turn my hearing aids on. Get off my role playing? Get off my uh, <laughs> Shut up, Golgi. Um, Golgi. First... When did you start role playing? Yeah, the very first role playing was I was in grade ten, uh, so that was back in ninety two. And it was uh, it was uh, another Palladium. It was uh, it was uh, Robotech. Oh yeah, good old Robotech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Palladium was pretty big in the '90s. Actually, it was the it it vied for second place with White Wolf. So mm -hmm. uh, D and D actually D and D was second place at that point. It lost to White Wolf once Vampire the Masquerade came into its second edition. And uh, yeah, so Palladium was a big deal. And so that that means this game's got some staying power. Yeah. And I did you I, uh, did you watch? I was going to ask. Uh, thinking about Vampire the Masquerade, did you watch uh, the uh, the TV series that was on like in the nineties? The basically Melrose Place, but with vampires. Yeah, they made like six episodes or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was it was truly wretched. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> bad. A game on uh, the PS Five that's also Vampire the Masquerade. It's coming back. Oh yeah, no, yeah. there's a there's a big resurgence of vampire. Um, yeah. Yeah, but uh, the, the cool thing about Rifts is that it was published nearly 35 years ago. It's still being printed. It's still in print. And they're still creating new supplements for it. Right? No new edition. I mean, the Ultimate Edition is a new edition, I guess. But it's it's very, very few things have changed. Very few things have changed to the point where I'm still using the original adventure from 1991. Um that's what we're playing through so very few things have changed mm -hmm. at all so it's really very uh consistent and kind of cool it's old school which means it takes a little bit more work than modern role-playing games but it's worth it anyway when we last left you guys were hunkered down in the woods in the dark <laughs> in the cold <laughs> which is uh <laughs> never a happy place to be but you got a lot of got a lot of things that can blow up so um you're carrying back whatever you managed to take from the coalition, you narrowly uh, were missed by a squadron of Samus power armor flying in to uh, to assist the remnant of the arms depot that you robbed. So 
that's where we're going to start. You guys have just come out of a meditation trying to recoup some uh, some energy and some ISP PPE. And that's where we are under Lex's poor excuse for camouflage. <laughs> Portland had sensed a ley line within 40 miles. That's where we... Where yes. Do you want me to roll for that? If you're trying to move toward it, you're going to have to make a roll on your sense Already ley line. Already rolling. All right. No success. Yeah, you can't quite tell what direction it's in or if you're really near or really far from it. So you can, you're basically going to have to give it a shot, right? Go with your best guess. Um, right. And you'll know that if it starts to feel weaker, you've moved away from it instead of closer to it. But Right, it's kind of like hot and cold. Yeah. Sir Luke, you currently can't sense it and you can sense ley lines within... Um, five miles, and Lex, you don't have quite the range of sensing ley lines that the others do. And once you get within range of that, they're going to mess with your ability to, to sense other things. So, uh, Sir Luke, it's not, you got five miles, Sir Luke. Uh, Portland, you got 40 miles. So you're, it's not within five miles because Sir Luke can't sense it yet. But yeah, so that kind of helps pinpoint it at least. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, just out of curiosity, I mean, why are we heading there in the first place? I mean, I have no problem with it. I just it, is it necessary for 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 you to do something there in Portland? Yes, there's a ley line there. I can rejuvenate. Okay. And also, he can, the, he, so he can also read ley lines, which means he can tell what's going all on along the ley line. Oh yes. Right, that's the other thing. defend us if we get attacked quite well. Well, I figure we should keep moving because if uh, I would imagine that they are going to patrol in a certain radius because they're going to assume that we move at a certain length of uh, speed. So if we could keep out of that range, we could keep out of their range. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. It is still dark, um, so that will slow you a bit. I'll give you an opportunity to make another land navigation check there, Sir Luke. This is where I excel, not. All right. Let me bring up a guy here. Like, if we roughly know the direction, can we roll as well to help him? That's right. Once he once he's sure of the direction, then you guys can help stay on track. All right. Let's go here. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right. Well done. So wow. that strikes me as like, uh, like super good. Yeah. I recognize this blade of grass. We have to go that way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you did it. And, uh, yeah, you now know the correct way that you need to go. And, uh, so Port Portland will way. find out if that's going to intersect a ley line, I guess. So. Are we rolling? Uh, nope, not yet. You guys are moving in that direction. And, um, yeah. Uh, do you want to, at some point, actually um, get some real sleep? Because you've, you've basically had an hour nap kind of near the middle of the night. Yeah. So I say we go another five hours and then maybe rest up. Or, or perhaps we can get our, we can get Senate to dig us a really, really big hole that we can then cover with like like leaves and shit and just sleep in a hole why couldn't lex dig you a hole <laughs> i was gonna say i'm not <laughs> no, yeah you're, good. you're really good because you're really good at digging holes remember that's that lex that's, yeah. that's lex, lex is, that's really good at digging i'm lex, standing there lex looking at my hands like no <laughs> oh, whatever you guys in both i can dig, dig, a hole. Fine, but I can I dig really 75 feet around I will. I will sadly start dig a pawing hole? the ground to see well, if that's it a helps. pretty big hole. Is it when pretty, when pretty Portland pretty starts hole. talking about digging a hole, my tail starts to wag. That's what I'm saying. Question. <laughs> I have a genuine. I have a Let, genuine question. Okay. Bitch to me. I understand. I thought it was a pretty good idea. We get sleep. No, you, you said you said to get hole? Senate to dig. You said get Senate to dig the hole. Yeah, that's where we're confused. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My bad. My so bad. I have a, I have a question about. I have a genuine question my about Lex. Piece. Okay. Because your tail is wagging when you're that excited, are you oh, doing no. like the oh, windshield wipers or are you doing the full helicopter? Like, what are we talking here? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. All right, tails. It's, can it's, we fucking continue? Paint a, paint a word picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, 
As we move in that direction. All right. So you are going to continue moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, it's, it's really a lot of forest. Uh, There's some boggy areas, some, you know, there's some small uh, creeks and ravines, um, small lakes Mm -hmm. and the lake, uh, some marsh. Uh, You're trying to avoid that. So it's pretty slow going. It's also dark, right? So you, uh, I don't know if you're using your flashlights. No. Nope. I know, I know, Senate, you have night vision, right? Is that yes, not I do. a, yeah, so you could use that. Portland, you've got a globe you, of daylight. Do but... you want, yeah, do you want light? No, or we do not. We do not want light because we don't want to attract them, anybody. Sounds good. We should also have like flashlights and stuff, but. Yeah, we, we're we not using those, though. So you guys are just bumbling around in the dark. Well, there's I'm a moon. Just, I'm also just curious. If I levitate myself, would you guys be faster to push me and run then at your speeds? No, oh, it's not really. Are they like tied, tied, tied yeah. to me like you're a kite? That's, you're a magical that's balloon. Why I was thinking like, that's why I was thinking like giving putting a rope around my waist or something and then running. And then yeah. you hold the other end of the rope, and it's kind of like you're water skiing, but air skiing. <laughs> no. I feel like I should just ride you. And just, and just, and just scream, just we. Wait, I did you... suggest wait, 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 that. Wait, I did okay. suggest that last time. Did you really? I will ride the hell out of you, dude. That I'll sounds... get a hat. I already have a hat. Like I can just like yeehaw this. Shit. We got to get you a riding prop then. This is getting really. Nope. I don't know where this is going. Also, Sir Luke is pretty strong too. He, I could probably ride him. I don't. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I could give you a piggyback, but I don't think I want you to ride. You me. could. You no, could no, no, ride no. I don't want you to piggyback. While, I want you the could full ride on, me while I ride. No, 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 no. Listen. I don't want a piggyback. I want the full like missing like you know uh, not necessarily like you know stepdad experience whereby I'm on top of your shoulders to complete oh, thing. God. <laughs> like holding onto I, his hair. Like. <laughs> yeah. Like I got my both my legs are on top of his shoulders. Not like the piggyback. Just like on top of his shoulders. And I'm just like. Hire daddy, like that kind of situation. Oh, you're getting clotheslined by a tree branch for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, there's. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, Lucas is not gonna end well. I'm to willing to risk branch. that. And sir, <laughs> Lucas, how tall? You're like six nine. Like, he's just yeah. Gonna... <laughs> you'll see the I'm dawn before risk. anyone else. Yeah, you'll be knocked. O- you're you're gonna be knocked over by a lot of branches. All right, but you're so, saying you do it. Anyways, moving on. Okay, let's root a childhood memory for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just picturing Portland continually trying to climb onto Sir Luke and <laughs> just the whole way. Stop it. Stop it. Anyway. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Cool. So you guys uh, begin to make your way. And I'm going to need um, now that all of you can can give, I guess, Portland, you're not going to give a land navigation check. You're going to give your sense ley line check. But. I uh, but Lex, Sir Luke, and Senate can give a land navigation check, as you now all know the way you're supposed to be going. Oh. Right on the button again. Holy shit, you've got good land. Two land for two. You're 65. Nice. And Portland, yeah. a sense ley line. Sounds good. I succeed. You do. So it's the ley line is not necessarily um, it's it's in the general direction that you guys are moving, but it's slightly more to the north than uh, than Sir Luke uh, wants to head to get to his hometown. So why don't we go further my direction and then we'll dog leg it up to the uh, to the ley line? Really? You're going to you're gonna oh use my that God. Are you kidding me? Are you really? kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know what I mean. Do I, though? Lex knows what I mean. Common phrase. I'm just going to shake my head and start walking. <laughs> Tail down. Just <laughs> Yeah. No longer helicopter. I'm going to walk by shaking my head. All right. It's unbelievable, this guy. Okay, so you continue to hike I'll through the night. I'll mumble under my breath. Dogs are people, too. Yeah. I'll mumble. <laughs> they, they literally aren't. 
Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, my wow, that might be an alignment <laughs> check there. We transitioned from I have a dog boyfriend to no, no I don't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jeez, I wouldn't actually say that. Well, he's man's best friend already, so uh, he's probably going to go with that anyway, so who cares? <laughs> so how long does night vision last for you, Senate? Uh, that is a great question. Not as long as I would like, I imagine. Let's have a look. Uh, night vision. 10 minutes per level, so 40 minutes. All right, and how much does it cost you? Four. So, hmm. Leaves me at 12. Yeah, and every hour you get back two. So are you going to keep using it <laughs> as you hike along in the middle of the night, or...? Well, I'm the only one with eyes right now, I think, so it's probably worth it. Yeah. So, cool. Every three expenditures is two hours, right? So you're spending mm -hmm. six an hour, basically. Yep. So, so the first hour, I'll... But you get back two every hour, so you're spending four an hour. Um, okay. So how long can you be spending ISP for? Well, I've got 16 for now, so, so that gives about four, four hours. hours moving before I've got to recharge. Yeah, four hours. And at that point, at that point, we probably should have a more long-term rest because, I mean, that's right. The Everybody's Luke is willing, be... but the flesh is the flesh is weak. You know? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, four hours moving along. I'm gonna need um, you do uh, need to give me a perception check again. Fuck. Like this. Okay, sorry. So spend four. Just Three, take four. off your 16. We're going to presume that oh, you... Oh, just take off? Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. I'll just do a perception test. Yeah, perception check. Man, I suck at I'm perception. actually pretty good at these. Like, fairly consistently. Not as good yeah. as Lex. <laughs> Jeez. Fucking made of eyes over here, Jesus. <laughs> actually, he's made of ears. Yeah, yeah. plus eight. Oh, right, because of the tracking. And so, yeah, Lex, your ears I'm... perk up. You can hear the whine of an engine... Uh, long before anybody else does. Do you wish to alert the group? Damn it! Yeah. All oh, these low rolls, god damn. So uh, I'll stop walking, and I'll just say, uh, do any of my friends want to know what I just heard? Did you say that out loud? Yeah, I'm going to say that out loud. Of course. Well, I was just digging a hole like four miles ago. There's... There's some engines that I hear off in the distance. Do I hear which way they're coming from? Uh, from behind you. Okay. So I'm just going to say there's some engines that are coming from behind us. So is this a hit the dirt moment, or do you think it's going to miss? What are we... That's all he's got. That's all the info know. he's got. That's, That's hide. They they fly over top? Who knows? Like, I mean, well, we could try and, and camouflage again and... Well, they're moving pretty quick. So can you can at least tell right, they're coming okay. fast. Let's go, let's go to ground. It's prowl o'clock. Oh my god, how come I suck at prowling? Because you're 6'9". Because you're enormous. <laughs> That's why you suck at prowling. Because you're, Your oh, eyebrows you're are sticking really out above visible. the trees. Man! <laughs> Your eyebrows go stick out above the trees. Jesus. I'm going to go invisible. Yep, cast oh, that okay. spell for sure. I did. Yeah. So well, everybody, Sir Luke. everybody else is successful. All right. Starting to, starting to think the whole idea might not be the worst idea. I know it wasn't the at worst least dig idea. A, at least dig a hole that Sir Luke can stand in. 75 feet is a lot of fucking feet. Just throwing it out there, guys. Yeah. I know. I know. That's why I suggested it. And so, uh, there you are, and... Um, you all can uh, hear the incoming engines as well. Uh, you take cover and uh, rocketing overhead are two SEMS power armor units that uh, do a swoop around and are uh, yeah, kind of surveying uh, around. Sir Luke, you uh, you basically try to take uh, take cover there. Uh, you only hope on the that they don't see you, whereas everybody else has. You don't even know where they're at, um, and it seems that the Samas have not seen you, as they kind of wheel around and head off to the south. 
not easy being big. All right. You continue on. Yeah, that's setter. You continue on. And um, I'll ask for one more set of land navigation checks and a sense ley line check. Just missed it. Oh, I just missed it. You got it at least. Yep. All right. So, yeah, you guys are having a hard time, but Mr. I can see in the dark says, no, no, it's over this way. Uh, Portland, you're having a difficult time figuring out just exactly where that ley line is. You know, it's still in that just same general direction, but you don't know if you've gotten significantly closer or not. Um, but... Portland, or sorry, Senate, you are able to keep them on the right track, at least towards Sir Luke's place. May I ask a question? Yeah. Given that I have um, post-apocalyptic history, yeah, would I be able to comb through my knowledge to see if I would be aware of any ley lines? Like, where they had formed? Perhaps uh, that, the one he's sensing? That would be more lore uh, magic, if you have that. I do have lore magic. Yeah. So with your permission, I'll give that a roll. Yeah, one. now, ley lines aren't all mapped, right? Sometimes they spring no, up and fair vanish, enough. right? They're... And again, all I can do is try. Yeah. So, see how can I do it? Can I do that as well if I've got lore magic? Anybody can with lore magic. It's not precise. It just tells you general oh. stuff. So, essentially, what you it makes perfect sense that there would be, oh. a, that there would be a ley line you know, uh, about that distance away within 40 miles of Coburg. So Coburg, sorry, of Unity. Unity is modern day Coburg. Of Unity and New Hope. Uh, those two um, settlements have settled in the sort of magically vacant um, spot along the north shore of Lake Ontario. Much of the north and south shore of Lake Ontario is rife with magic energy ley lines, nexus points, all sorts of stuff. Um, Laszlo itself is rumored to have harnessed the power of a rift to power the city, right? So there's nexus points in Laszlo. So um, certainly if you are going east and northeast, or sorry, uh, if you're going west and northwest, you will probably be moving into more and more um, magic-rich territory. So, sorry, north to northwest of our current position? Yeah. North and west and northwest and north. Mostly west and northwest, sorry, of where you are okay. now. will bring you into will, much more magical area. I will make mention of that with the disclaimer that I'm not a magician and I'm only going off my sort of generalist knowledge being a Laszloian. Yeah. Laszlite. Something like that. Uh, whatever of the... Yeah. And I'll just kind Laz of... Laszlo pussies. A Laswegian. A Laswegian, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so, so you share that information. That, that, might, that might be what you're sensing. I don't... I can't say for sure, though. All right. Cool. So, you move for four hours, then. Total. And... It is now like you guys are really tired. It's probably about three something in the morning. Might be time to uh, dig a hole and get some rest. Yep. Or at yeah. least yeah. look. Or at least look for shelter. Um, who has wilderness survival? I have wilderness survival. So do I. Um, I think I might. I do as well. Okay. So each of you that has wilderness survival can give a shot at that. Do I? Oh, I don't. Oh no, because I'm an urban guy. Oh no, I do have it. What do I have? Oh, come! I cannot roll to save my life. Well, thank God, Lex around. Bear grills over here. Yeah. So. So Lex, you find a a suitable location. It's um. There's a small. There's a small outcropping, of uh, of exposed, rock. Uh, you are 
able to uh it's in a again another kind of uh small ravine valley this one actually has a bit of a creek going through it uh but you will be able to get everybody under there and if you build your camouflage correctly you might even be able to have a small fire okay let's let's roll for camouflage no whammies well it's only a 30 like, percent i know i know it, it's you gotta get it eventually there it is uh, all right. All right. So you do manage to uh, put up a bit of a light shield so that you can have um, a campfire. Your wilderness survival will all allow you to make um, a fire uh, to give you some comfort as you get some sleep. The old Dakota fire I gonna, hole. I was going to say, can I try and uh, like hunt for some animals so we can have like rotisserie squirrel or something? You're a little too <laughs> tired for that right now. So... There you go. You guys get six hours of sleep before waking up. Uh, the fire will have burnt itself out. Um, those of you who need ISP or PPE? Yep. Yep. So, how do we get back? Where does that say sleep? Yeah, so 12 per hour there. Senate? I'm back where um, I was. Good. Sir Luke, you got your... How much do you I'm get back? back? Six hours. Whoops. Ten. Oh, sorry. Ten for Sir Luke Ten? per hour. Okay, so I'm, I'm almost at, at, at fault. Yeah, so you get back, 60 uh, back, 72 for um, for the psychics. The dog boy and the mind melter both get 72 ISP. Right. I, was, I was full anyways. And Portland gets... Seven points times six. Forty-two. Yeah, forty-two PPE back. So I'm at full SDC now. So. No, you don't get any SDC back. Oh, I thought I got SDC back. Okay, I'm talking about back. ISP and PPE right now. Oh, then I don't get any. I don't need that anymore. Okay, there we go. Do I get yeah. any SDC back? Um, you it has like a bruise. It hasn't. It hasn't been a day yet, right? So. I think you heal faster than most. Yeah, but so you I'm don't, back. but not not instantly. Not and, quite. And you you've, you've been hiking. You aren't in a position to. Yeah. Even after the sleep. Uh, Atlantean recovers. Two d six plus ten points per twenty four hour period of normal rest and recovery. So you have not had any rest. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now, if you meditate on a ley line. You will get back one d six SDC per hour that you meditate on a ley line successfully. Okay. So getting to that ley line is not a bad thing. Yeah, true enough. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you've put on a, a good, a fair amount of distance by traveling through the night. You guys are really tired. Do you have any food? Uh, yeah, I got rations. Do you? Did we, we bring rations? them? Did oh, you? I don't think you right. did. I think they're it's... all stuck back in the town, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did did I get any from killing any of those dog boys and taking their stuff? No. Like, would they have carried any of that? No, they would just hunt. So, okay, well, I guess I'm going hunting. All yeah, right, I'll go hunting as well. A hunting we will go. All right, wilderness all right. survival will give you. Uh, enough food to get by to scavenge like to you're not it's not going to be a massive meal but it's enough to get by yeah you should be able to find enough food as you walk along right or hunt an animal or something like that and I think you all have wilderness survival so no. I have wilderness survival and I have all of my tracking things not necessarily track and trap but yeah all right so there you are and uh, it is daytime now. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Hey, are we well, still uh, are we still walking? That's header. Well, we should probably figure out our bearing if we're looking for a, a ley line. Are you looking for a ley line? Or are you looking for the town? Like well, Luke's there might be a ley line, line along the, the way. I thought if we were looking, we were looking for the town, and if we came close to a ley line, we'd make a. And I want to look at Luke and say a dog leg. 
towards <laughs> that ley line. She's <laughs> taking it so Jesus. personally. <laughs> Dude, that's rough. I'll tell you. From Luke's perspective, he's looking wow. at Lex, and and just out of the corner of his eye, I lean in while shaking my head again. <laughs> so you know. All right, so uh, uh, land navigation from everybody but Portland. Portland, give me that sense ley line again, and that will see if you guys are back on the right track. All right. Jeez, there we go. We're all we're all doing okay. Uh, Portland, I need that sense ley line. I did. I, will, I did. I did. We'll oh, it's I right at the. It. It's the, the top. Yeah. Oh, I also see a wilderness survival check. We all. Yeah, we all know where we're going huh. simultaneously. Yeah. Everybody got a success. Cool. All right. So, um, yeah, you are uh, certain, uh, Portland, that the ley line is only about 10 miles to the north of your current location. Cool. I'm going to say that to the guys. Yeah. And what direction is that compared to where we're going? Uh, you guys are kind of going northwest, but he's pointing north. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Still going the, generally the right direction, so let's go north. North. All right. You guys walk north. And, yeah, it doesn't take, you know, you're going, you're going a little bit uh, out of the way. Um, Ten miles you, through wilderness, uh, you probably go about five miles a day, right? And uh, I think said ten miles a day. Or sorry, you go about ten miles a day, so it's a day's yeah. trek. Yeah, you go about ten miles a day through the wilderness, so it's about a day's trek to get to there. And um, basically, by nightfall, you guys make your way to the. Uh, you can see the glow of the ley line uh, in the trees ahead of you. Um, you can, Sir Luke, you can sense it. Lex, it's messing with your ability to sense um, other magic and psychic energy. But uh, Portland, you you it's feel at home here. Hard, yeah, Sorry? you're yeah you're feeling at home here. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm hard as a rock right now. So. Jesus Christ! Right? That's I didn't need to know that. It's perfect. Well, yes, you did. Because if you ran into me, you'd feel it, and you'd be like, "What's oh. that?" Yeah, you just want to make sure that you're not walking directly in front of him. Exactly. I want to like stay clear if he pulls a hard, you know, turn. Exactly. If I stabbed with that thing, we fucked up. Let's do it. Yeah. Make a damage. Anyways. Make a damage weapon. All right. And so there you find a ley line. Sir Luke and Portland, you guys are the masters of, well, Portland is the master of ley lines, but Sir Luke, you have some ability with them. What would you like to do? All right. So let's see what I can do. So where's my psionics here? So, nope, that's not it. Yeah. Uh, where's my stuff for that? It's, abilities. Uh, it be under abilities. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, uh, well, I could do phasing, but I don't think that's going to actually help me with anything right now. Um, well, I think that I'm going to... Uh, so you said that I can use the ley line to get my uh, uh, PPE back up, right? Uh, yeah, your PPE can. You, how not much? My, PPE, my, my, my SDC. My SDC. That's right. You can meditate on the ley line. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll meditate on the ley line and uh, work on getting my SDC up. Okay. So give me a meditation check. Then it's a skill. Right. You have. If you're successful, skill. after an hour, you can roll a d6 and get that many SDC back. Hey, you're successful. So roll a Ooh. d6 for me, and that's how much you'll get back after an hour. E6. Well, that's the first hour. All right, Portland, what yeah. do you want to do? Well, I'm I'm gonna suck off this ley line a little bit. 
and uh, draw some extra draw some extra PPE from it. Okay, you can only hold excess PPE for so long. Oh no, no but like I cannot do it to build up my PPE, like get back some PPE. Uh, yeah, you can totally recover PPE. Um, yeah, that's my that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So the rate of that. Well, I'll, I will meditate on it. I suppose is that what I'm doing? Or yeah, you can meditate. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna meditate on that as well. So roll your meditation. And then, sorry. Um, oh, is that ley line rejuvenation? Yeah, you have that as well. You can yeah, 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 that's what it is. Instant rejuvenation on a ley line, as often as once every 24 hours. Rested, alert, and healed. So I can heal here too. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. All right, so you are doing the ley line regeneration first? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Might as well get back to the normal here and feel So it takes 10 this. minutes of concentration, so I need you to roll for meditation first. Actually, it doesn't nice. take meditation, it just takes concentration, I think. I'm just going to take a quick peek. Yeah. Um... I just relax on it. I just concentrate and relax on the ley line. I'm just like yeah. surfing it. And you will get 20 plus 1d6, or sorry, 2d6 SDC um, yeah. per that level. Yeah, yeah. Heal me. you'll have it all back, no problem. Yeah. So is my ley line abilities, have? is that to do with the fact that I'm a, lay, uh, a, a uh, cyber knight, or is that because I'm a true Atlantean? Because you're a true Atlantean. <laughs> okay, so... I don't think I've told any of these guys that I'm a true Atlantean. Nope, okay. yet. <laughs> no, so they probably don't even know what that. They probably don't even know what that is. Drop that yeah. bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there we go. Just if they're curious, yeah. Find that, eh? Let's see how it is. Not many people actually know that there is such a thing as a true Atlantean. So yeah, good, to, good, good to know. Good to know. The only Atlanteans they're aware of are the Splugorth, for the most part. Even if even then they're like these this legendary sort of monster that raids the east coast right like mm -hmm. from the island of atlantis a lot of people don't know a whole lot all right um sounds good does the ley line go towards um laszlo i guess that's where we're going right you can no, going you left. can do read a ley line and that will give you information about the ley line yeah i was going to do that next I was yeah gonna... Yeah, could I, I, um, uh, could I throw clairvoyance up while all this is going on? Sure. What do you want to do with clairvoyance? I'm a little more worried about what could happen now that we're on a ley line, which is usually pretty dangerous. Um. All right. Let's let's handle. I just want to handle the PPE regeneration here. Okay. And then we'll. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can draw uh, 20 PPE um, every round. Yep. So give it four rounds and you will be able to get yourself back yep. to full. I will do that because I want to be jacked at the gills. <laughs> yeah, there you are. <clears throat> and yeah, you are you are there for about an hour while Sir Luke does those things. During that time, Senate, you said you wanted to do clairvoyance. Sorry, it would it would be precognition for precognition. Okay, not uh, clairvoyance. They've split the two now. Yes, they have. So precog, and you're just trying to peek into the future a little bit then. If you guys want, I can meditate on you for like 48 hours and then, you know, Ooh. get a get a new magic spell. It'd be pretty fantastic for me. Throwing it out there. I kind of figured that's what we were doing here. Well, well we pretty... want to. I mean, I suppose we could, but uh, well, I didn't think we were sticking around for that long. Yeah, because, I mean, we do kind of have to get the leg out, but 
Would there be any well, ley lines near where my hometown is? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we could do it there. Would there? Oh. Yeah. And okay. we safer too. So yeah, there you are. Um free cog, uh, you spend the ISP and give a roll on that skill. And we're on the ley line, right? You are on the ley line, yep. So I need a 1d6 plus 1 discount. Sure. Sweet. So that's 4 ISP. And... Recognition. No. Yes. No. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. You get a bunch of flitting scenes and, and the like, but there's nothing that you can really grasp on to. Mm. All right. I'll just kind of let everybody know. Okay. Uh, I was trying to look ahead to see if we had any trouble coming our way, and at this point, I've got nothing. All right. And Portland, you wanted to read the ley line. I wanted to read the ley line. All right. This ley line basically is a, uh, it runs roughly east and west. It's, uh... Are there any rifts on the ley line? Uh, it runs... Uh, there are no rifts, no. But it runs for about... Any major natural disasters happening on the ley line? Nope. Is there a nexus nearby? And where would that nexus be? Uh, I'm going to find out. One sec. If I can, like, just whip over to a nexus in Laszlo or where the hell we're going, you guys can just meet me there. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm slowing you guys down. Let's be honest here. Whoa. It is 24 miles long. And you are kind of about four miles from the most easterly end of the ley line. So you have you can go 20 miles to the west on this ley line. Hmm. Okay. And we want to go west from here, don't we? Cause it's that the, is correct. Yeah. Is northwest. Yeah, that so is yeah. correct. So I can totally tell them, like, hey, guys, I have, like, a... I can get there pretty quickly on this ley line. If I know I'm slowing you guys down, if you want me to just fast travel there, I can do that and meet you guys there. Well, moving uh -huh. moving 20 miles, uh, you would be waiting for two days for them to catch up. Yeah, but then I can meditate for those two days and get my stuff. That's true. Sir Luke, you can I mean, also do could, that. I guess we could do that. Yeah, but I'm not going to leave these guys behind, so uh, I, I would not do that. Like I, I, again, it's not a judgment on on him if he does because I get get the rationale. Well, I'm um, just slow as hell. That's all. Like, that's just me. I'm just. You guys are all like twice as fast as I am. But they're not like running, right? They're they're moving with with load through the bush. So, um, yeah, uh, it's not like they're leaving you in the dust. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, Luke, if you did teleport with Portland, you could give him some defense while he meditates for the two days it would take Senate and the dog boy Lex to okay. catch up. But uh, where, where, well, like, where is he going to end up? He's going to end up in uh, the city, right? No, no. He would oh. just end up 20 miles to the west of here. Oh, man. Not a big fan of that. I don't like the idea of that. Well, you'd be alone. You would be alone, wouldn't you? Probably. We do some catching up. So I'll kind of talk it over to the others and say, "What do you think? Do you think you do you think you guys can make it on your own?" I don't have to. We can all just walk it. Now I, I I think I I think I could. Like I just I don't know this being this close to this ley line is just bugging me out. I I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if we're you're all going in the same direction, I don't know why we're splitting up. Yeah, no, I think it, 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 here's the thing. I mean, if if we get to my my family's home, uh, there's there's 
ley lines around there as well. I mean, you and, and you could get to a nexus there too. No, we sound good. Throw it out there. All right, so let's can I put continue. A, as... can I put a, yeah, before we do that, can I put a spy ball and put it around, uh, send it throughout this ley line to see if uh, there are any uh, baddies on the near the ley line? What you know about? Uh, you can run an observation ball. Yeah, yeah. about how far can you send it? 500 feet per level, it. so 2,000 yeah. feet. So 2, basically half a mile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. It costs me nothing, so. Do I see anything? Um, you see... Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where this ley line is going to spit you out. Um, yeah, uh, luckily there's no uh, real um, real trouble going on on the ley line right now. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of forest. There's some you have to traverse. Ley line traverses a bit of swamp, but yeah. You seem to be in a in a good spot, I guess. Two thousand feet up the ley line, two thousand feet down the ley line. Doesn't seem to be much trouble. Cool. I'll uh, relay that information to the team. All right. So, what's the plan, guys? Let's head. Uh, keep heading in the direction we were going. All right. So, same direction you were going, just we following go, the ley line, let or Portland, are we going to let Portland meditate and meet him at well, the end? No, I, th I, I think we're all going to go together. I think, unless Portland, unless I read. Yeah, that I think there's a ley line where we're heading, and we're going to yeah, meditate yeah. there because. Yeah. So let's do that. It'll be safer there too. Cool. Well, all things relative, right? Yeah. You and your relatives, I tell you. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Oh, good right. for you. Keeping okay. on. So you guys uh, continue on. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, again, good for you. The um, You don't catch uh, any sign of Sam S. patrols, but you are uh, busy um, making your way. You're following the ley line, correct? Yes. Okay. And after two days Those of aren't the only threat anymore. Yeah. yeah, two days of walking along the ley line, uh, foraging, uh, you guys, the basically the the um, sort of haziness and glow of a ley line just uh, kind of fades out when you get about twenty miles to the west of where you initially were at on the ley line. And that's the end of the second day. You can give a at the beginning of the third, you can give a um, land navigation check to see if you can make your way back to your hometown. Abilities. Would we have Oops. Uh, gotten more ISP back because it's been two days? For sure. You get back two every hour, plus you would have slept. So, oh, um, That certainly didn't do it. I'll let Portland... Uh, Portland can give a late, uh, check as well because he has land navigation. But well, at least somebody, at least somebody got in the right direction. Yeah, and you get twelve per hour of rest. So, yeah. and you would have had. Thirteen hours, so thirteen times twelve, so one forty-four plus twelve is. 156. A lot more than my max. Yeah, so, so you would be full. Yeah. Okay. Likewise, Sir Luke, you would have meditated on the ley line, right? Whenever you had a chance yeah. to rest. So you would be rejuvenated back to full. Okay. Sounds good. Back up. And yeah, you continue to uh, press on and move uh, in the direction that Senate is telling you should be where you 
where you go, you're like, I th I'm pretty sure it's over there, Senate. But Senate's like, no, no, it's it's right over there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And let me see what happens the next day. You're very good. You're looking out. Cool. And so um, one more land navigation check, I suppose. In Portland, you are detecting a number of ley lines within your radius that you can pick up. Plenty of boners. Yeah, Senate's like, nope, it's definitely, if this is where you want to go, Sir Luke, it's definitely this way. And Sir I Luke argues with you. Like I, I, I can get to your house better way. than you can. You like, probably, this is great. You fucking can. <laughs> Jesus, I'm terrible at this. I've been hanging out with, uh, I don't know, I assume your mother's name is Martha. Save Martha! Name? Save Martha! Save All right. Name. And by the end of the fifth day, with the slight detour on the ley line, you uh, come into uh, Goodwood, which is your hometown. Uh, you can never truly go back home, Sir Luke. But there does uh, ha it does have that sense of familiarity. It's very pastoral. It's very uh, quiet. And the four of you walk into town, um, tired and hungry, cold because it's now you know the middle of November. You guys have been uh, relying on your own movement to generate heat and staying near anything. I think some of you might have resist cold spells or resist cold psychic abilities but even still uh i'm in environmental armor yeah yeah you're you're okay um but you're cold uh hungry yeah, you can't sleep in the armor right? you have to take it off like it's yeah you know um tired and uh you stumble into into good wood there it's a little bit different than you remember but it's somewhat the same and uh what you happen to notice, though, Sir Luke, is there aren't a lot of people around. And it's been quite some time since you've been here, because you would have left to go to the monastery where you learned to become a cyber knight. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's, the buildings are all here, but the people aren't. Right, notice any, any, any people? No, there are signs no. of people, though. But, uh, like, there's carts in the street and things like that, but there are... There are no people around. And that's where we're going to leave it off today. So thank you all for joining us, uh, for joining this trek through the wilderness with this group. Uh, if you like what you heard, hit subscribe. Put some comments down below. Join us on our Discord. Tell your friends. Share it out. Um, we really appreciate it. I'm Magnum Pie, here with Teiku Golgotha Vahilo and Dark Templar. And we are Initiative Zero.